Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today I specifically have a little bit of like a spring, summer, spring break haul and review for you. Looking at some very cute new little spring pieces and swimsuits from American Eagle and Aerie. I have some shorts, some cute little tanks, some cardigans and little over shirts and some swimwear. We're going to take a look at all of it and see if any of it is worth our money or not. Now when it comes to both American Eagle and airy, I feel like their quality and like how good their pieces are flip flops. Sometimes I get pieces from them that I am seriously blown away by. I remember I got a dress last summer that feels like it should have cost $200 and it was like 50 from American Eagle. I have some swimwear from Aerie that is seriously better than some $200 swimsuits I've tried in the past. But then sometimes the complete opposite happens and you get things that are just so disappointing. So I know I love watching review videos before I buy stuff. So I figure hopefully you do too. So like I said, today is going to be all about spring, summer, March break, going on vacations. And like always, be sure to let me know what you think I should keep and what you think I should return down in the comments. And I will link everything I'm wearing along with what color I got and what size I got in the description box. So if there is anything that you want to try for yourself, you can find all of that information down there. Now I did also pick up a ton of activewear sets, but I think I'm going to make them a separate video just so that this one doesn't get too long. So if you are interested, in seeing that it should be out probably around a week after this video is released. So if you're interested in watching a review and try on of the newest activewear pieces from Aerie, that video will be posted very, very soon. And with that, let's get right into the review with this first little outfit set, which includes a pair of their new trouser shorts and this really adorable little kind of crochet inspired top. And let's start with the shorts. Now I got these in a size 10 based on the size chart and they're definitely a little bit big. They're a little bit loose. I will say I prefer for shorts to be slightly on the looser side than to be too tight. There's something so unbearable about wearing shorts that are too tight on like a 30 degree day when it's max humidity and you're dying of heat exhaustion. So I would prefer them to be a little bit loose. I do wonder if these might be slightly too loose. They're very, very loose on the legs. I do have quite a bit of extra room in the waist, but I do think that they're cute and I do really like the khaki color. I feel like I tend to gravitate towards lighter, softer colors in both the spring and the summer. So for me, I feel like wearing black shorts or any like very dark denim ends up being just a bit too much. So I don't reach for them very often because I like to pair them with nice light tops like this one. Now these shorts are a little interesting. They have like a clip and then also a hidden button to hold them closed. They do have nice deep pockets and then they are meant to basically look like you took a pair of trousers, kind of like cut them off and made sure out of them and I do feel like they bring that vibe. Now most places that I've worked I have not been able to wear shorts but if you are able to wear shorts at your workplace do you think you'd be able to get away with these because they're more trouser inspired or would they need to be much longer? Let me know. I'm always curious. I feel like dress codes at work are always really fascinating. And then this little top I feel like this is so freaking cute. As soon as I saw it I knew I would like it. The straps are wide enough that I can wear a bra under here. I'm just wearing the NYX Revolution bra, which has a nice deep V so that it doesn't show. The entire shirt is stretchy across the back so that it fits really nice and kind of hugs to your body at the front. It does have this little bow, which as you can see, uh, got a little bit janky in shipping. So I will definitely need to like iron those bow strings down, but I think that that's worth it for this top. I think that it looks absolutely so cute. And I have lots of different green pants and skirts and different things that I I think this will look very, very cute with. They did also have this in a few more colors. So if you don't love the green, but you like the style of it, I would definitely recommend checking it out. I think that this will end up selling out pretty fast. Now, because I live in Canada and we are heading into spring, but it is still below freezing almost every day. I did also pick up a cardigan to kind of 
bridge me between the freezing cold of winter so I can still wear like cute little tops but be warm. And I do feel like this is actually a pretty nice cardigan. It is obviously very, very long. I did get this in a size small when I usually wear a size medium because they said it was oversized and it definitely is. If I were to do this up, it's just going to look like I'm wearing nothing underneath it. Now I am experiencing some loose threads on this, which is kind of unfortunate for a brand new sweater, but it is very soft. I love that it's oversized and I do not own like a white cardigan and I find myself often wishing that I had one. So I am inclined to keep it, but definitely let me know if you like this or not. And I do think that it actually looks really cute with this little outfit. Obviously it's a little long for the shorts, but I think that it's super cute. Now next up, I've kept that same little tank on, but I've got a few different pieces to try with it. First, we have this big like over oversized gauze shirt. I once again sized down in this because everybody was saying it was absolutely humongous and I still feel like it might be a little comically big. I do like that they give you the option to clip up the sleeves so you don't just have to roll them up and hope they stay. And this obviously does have real buttons so if you wanted to button it up you can. The high-low situation going on here, I feel like I'm not the biggest fan. I'm not sure why they chose to do that. Now over swimwear or something, which we can try it on with a swimsuit in a minute. I think maybe it would be cute. As part of an outfit, I have like a short sleeve gauze white shirt that I wear all the time in the summer. And I feel like it just looks a lot cuter than this because it's one length at the bottom versus kind of the awkward high-low. But let me know what you think. Maybe you really love the like oversized baggy shirt look. I feel like it just looks like a bit too much on me, probably because I'm very petite. And next up, we have exactly what I was talking about with like the quality difference at American Eagle. These are allegedly the exact same shorts as that other trouser pair. These are trouser style shorts, this time just denim. These are not made of denim. <laughs> These are made of lyocell. They are paper thin. And it's just so interesting to feel a comparison because these ones are also mostly lyocell, but they are soft, they feel pretty thick. These feel thin and cheap like paper. They feel like if you bent your leg the wrong way, they're going to tear in half. And they're also really weirdly tight across the crotch, even though these are both the exact same size. I do also think that this is just like an interesting bit of color theory when I was talking about, yeah, I wear a lot of light colored tops. I feel like they don't look good with dark bottoms. I do feel like this looks infinitely worse than wearing this exact same top with the last pair of shorts. Just because the bottoms are so much darker, there's almost too much contrast for me. And I'm not sure, maybe that's just me once again, but let me know how you like it. I'm definitely going to return these shorts because I feel like they're just very thin and do not feel good for the price. I'm also pretty sure that the denim pair were more expensive than the like khakis, which is absolutely crazy to me because these feel infinitely worse. Like they feel cheaper, they just feel bad. So I would recommend the other shorts. I would probably not recommend this pair. Next up, we're moving into a couple different swimsuits. I got this one and then also a bikini. I will say I feel like airy swimwear has not been nearly as cute, at least for like the last year. Like as recently as a couple of years ago, every single time I would go on the airy website, I would be like, oh my god, I need all these swimsuits. They're so cute. I vividly remember them having like things with little seashells, adorable gingham print options, leopard print when it was very in style, which it is again, so they should bring it back. Little strawberry print things. So much cute stuff. This year so far, I've been fairly disappointed. I'm not seeing a lot of very cute options. However, I do know that the black and white is super on trend right now, so I did want to give it a try. So this is obviously just a fairly standard one piece that is a black ribbed material, and then it has white contrasting trim. I do think that it looks cute. I definitely don't think that it looks bad. It has a low scoop back, and then this is like a completely full coverage bathing suit, and you can see it's fairly low cut across the leg. Definitely not like a high cut situation. I think that this is fine. If you are looking for a fairly simple one piece, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. If anything, I think it's cute. I like the black and white together. I do think that it looks really good and classy. However, 
literally a week ago, I got this swimsuit from Burlook, which is like a more sustainable swimwear brand that was not that much more expensive than this one. And the difference in quality and materials is unreal. So this one is like this super, super thick rib material. It has an underwire to help support your boobs. It has adjustable straps that are super thick so that they're not digging into your shoulders at all. And it has this little bow tie detail on the back. So by comparison, like this one just feels so plain. And for the price, I just feel like I could have something that was a little more exciting. Now there is absolutely no support of any kind in this. There's no shelf bra. There's no removable padding. There's nothing. I feel like I just need a little bit more than that. And I wish that they would go back to having like a shelf bra or something in swimsuits like this. Now to go with the black and white swimsuit, I did pick up one pair of these white sunglasses and I will say I feel like with the sunglasses and then the black and white it's giving like rich mom on a yacht and I said this in my burlick video too I do think that the black and white looks very good together and I do love these sunglasses I'm not gonna lie but let me know I just feel like since I have that other swimsuit that feels infinitely better I'm I would never reach for this one realistically so likely I will be returning this one but I do think I might keep the sunglasses. So let me know if you like those. They are a little different than any sunglasses I own. I usually don't go for these more like skinny rectangular shades, but I think that they're really cute. And last but certainly not least, we have this little classic black bikini. And I do think that the big gauze shirt as a bikini cover up makes a lot more sense to me. I actually think it's cuter like this, but do I need it if I'm only going to wear it as a bikini cover up? I'm unsure. You let me know. Is it cute enough to keep. Now this bikini is a pair of their high-waisted crossover front bottoms, which interestingly, I own these bottoms. I think I have two different pairs, a ribbed pair and a standard pair from previous years. And these ones are a lot lower rise than some of the previous pairs I've had. However, they're very, very high in the back. I'm not sure why they come up so high in the back, but not so high in the front. That's a little odd to me. I kind of wish that they were like this same height all the way around. It's just a little too high at the back. They are fairly cheeky because they are a higher cut on the legs. So there's just less material back there. And I got them in a size medium. I think that they fit great. They look really good. I do like the bottoms. The top I got specifically because the reviews were quite good for this top and you can order it based on your bra size. So I got a 34 double D. I do think that it fits really, really well. However, I'm just like not quite sure about this little cut so this is an underwire and then the underwire kind of extends up here and then there's a little cutout in between. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think that it looks bad, but I don't think it's adding anything. And then this one does have a couple different notches that you can choose for your band length. And then it also has adjustable straps. Personally, really just feel like this bikini is fine. Once again, it's nothing super special. If you're just looking for like a black bikini, you have bigger boobs and you want one that's actually going to fit. I do think that this one will fit. I'm I'm finding it ever so slightly scratchy right in the center, but I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks okay. It's just not blowing me away. And that unfortunately is kind of my overarching thought with airy swimwear for the past year or so. I'm just not finding things that are like, wow, this is so beautiful and different. It's mostly just okay. And with that, those are all the different pieces that I got from American Eagle and Airy this time ahead of spring. My favorite thing by far was the little green tank. I did also like that first little pair of like khaki trouser style shorts and the cardigan, but like always be sure to let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you think I should keep versus return. And like always, I hope that you have a fabulous week and that I will see you next time. Bye!